have one of our 2020 police interceptors and we've been having an issue with uh, rear ends on these and one of the problems is you can see the mounting points we have two mounting points up front on this uh, rear differential and then in the back you can see there's a uh, single bolt I'll give you a, a single bolt here and if you look where it connects there's a bung on the uh, the rear end housing and that bolt goes through that cross member and into the differential and on the other side you have a provision for it and you have that same bung but there's nothing there so um, what we are going to do is install a brace uh, because what we're having a problem with is the, uh, the half shafts will become disengaged uh, or this bolt will break so one of the problems is that uh, it's hard to get replacement parts right now and also there's a special tool that is needed and apparently um, there's very few of those so what's happening is a lot of the Ford representatives are are taking it from dealership to dealership and they're working on vehicles one by one but the problem is we had a vehicle that was down for upwards of five months waiting on that that part and that tool and we've we've just experienced our third failure so with that uh, we can't have our police cars out of service for that long so in doing the research I came across uh, AWR I believe they're based in uh, San Diego and I talked with uh, Tony really good guy and um, you know they advertise it as, as not working with a police interceptor but I decided to take a chance and let's let's see what would happen so we tested it out and it worked pretty good so uh, basically a real simple setup you can see here here's the brace really nice piece and then it comes with this nut plate assembly and of course the attaching hardware now the installation is pretty easy you can do it from the ground but since we have lifts we just choose to do it here and um, it's removing two bolts and these are those weird uh, funky star bolts that take the e-wrenches so we remove two of them we remove this bolt here next to the drain plug and this upper one the upper one it's easier to use a wrench uh, you can't get a socket in there just due to the clearance okay now that we got both uh, bolts out um, and the mount is designed to straddle this way so you don't remove that uh, we've got these two holes and we're going to put the nut plate in the nut plate needs to go from the right side hole over uh, otherwise the you can put it in this side, but the holes won't line up right with the, uh, the bracket. All right, I'm trying to do this uh, one-handed, so uh, bear with me here. Okay, so here's our nut plate, and there's a little tab on this side. And again, that tab is gonna go to the right. Uh, it's gonna sit in here just, just like that, only inside. So what we're gonna do is, uh, And you kind of hold this little tab to be able to maneuver it. Okay, sorry. I know I one-handed. I can't do it. So. Okay, so hopefully you can see. How the nut plate lines up. Okay, now on this, you're going to want to start the bolt in the, uh, the bracket that gets mounted to the, the rear housing, the rear end. Pretty tight fit. Pretty, pretty easy install. Sorry about all the noise. This old guy. And um, you can see that this is your drain plug for the, the rear end. And uh, the fill plug is up here. So it does make it where you're probably going to need to remove this piece to be able to drain or to be able to fill the rear end. 
probably the hardest part of the job is uh, using the wrench. So you will, if you don't have an E18 wrench, you're going to need to order one. Um, this is easily accessible by a, a socket, but again, it, the clearance is pretty tight. Uh, I don't know if they make a ratcheting wrench or not for the E18, but uh, we uh, we're going to look it. into that. Okay, the second part of the bracket, um, you can see Priscilla starting to do that. It's also important to note she's left these bolts uh, loose. And we will also, when we get these bolts started, we will leave them loose as well. Uh, what Priscilla was saying is the directions say there to mount go. this piece first, the upper piece first. But it makes this, this bolt a little challenging to do, so that's why she's... Uh, got this uh, lower piece first and then the top bracket okay as you see she just uses a screwdriver to get the alignment and then she'll put in a through bolt and the directions come with a QR code that you can scan and it'll give you um, a video on how to install this properly and uh, also on the directions are the the torques Just use the uh, okay on this uh, screw bolt. I think we're going to 60 or 65 foot pounds. We have the GoPro here so that we can show the launches. Hopefully, okay. we can see a. Hopefully we can see uh, a difference in how the rear end flexes with, with and without it installed. Okay, so here's the total install. It really doesn't take that much time. 